This is a Rosemount Model 3051S Supermodule Differential Pressure Transmitter. I'm going to use it to demonstrate a very common accessory seen on industrial differential pressure transmitters. If we take a look at the assembly here, the diaphragm assembly, we see connection ports to apply the measured pressures. If we look at the backhand side of this assembly, this manifold, we see a couple of accessories here that are known as bleeds, process bleeds. And if we take a look at one in particular, we'll notice it has a hole right there, close to where you see the Teflon tape on the pipe threads. And then it also has this part of it that is removable. I've made it hand tight with a wrench so I can take it out with my fingers. If we take that portion out, we take a look at it, what we notice is a little ball bearing at the end of this that is pressed into a seat as this plug is threaded in to the bleed assembly. So this acts as a bleed valve that we can use to bleed pressure that is trapped inside the manifold assembly. Normally, this pressure transmitter would be connected to some sort of a process and usually through a set of isolation valves that allow us to close off or isolate or block from the process pressure. Also, we typically find an equalizing valve that we then open to equalize the pressure between high and low side, so there's no longer a differential sensed by the transmitter. But before you take this transmitter completely out of service, you need to vent whatever stored pressure may reside inside the manifold assembly, and that's what these are for. You would take a wrench, very carefully open up the bleed assemblies, and what would happen is you would see the built-up pressure exit for that tiny bleed hole. It's a convenient method of bleeding off pressure that's better and safer than cracking and open a pipe fitting or a tube fitting. Because with a bleed like this, where you have a bleed hole, you know exactly where that pressure is going to vent out. If you were to simply crack open a pipe or tube fitting, it's difficult sometimes to tell which direction or directions the fluid may actually spray as it comes out.